We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blade into the glowing Fast learner. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to be back to our lives. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. <laughs> to use what you have. <clears throat> it's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me. <laughs> These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Now the sigil should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence. Well done. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. Could I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. Hardy are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look, the sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? 
A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. Giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. My sigils can break through their shields! They're defenseless now! So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now, how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Oh, <laughs> 
Darkness can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember. <laughs> All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Not so much. I see that. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large bulbous thing. You can't miss it. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you.
Ready? As I ever will be. At last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility, one you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have you any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. And I you in vain. But I won't. Find myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, even you ain't staying here. Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. 
If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? Oh, uh, excuse me, can y'all stop and help a lady out, please? What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the River Delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. Was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the strap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. <clears throat> oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. I was broken when he found me. The truth I'd pledged my life to, it was a lie. Lord Freyr put what was left of me back together. Give me something real to believe in. That's Freyr, the Lord of Second Chances. He saved me, gave me a family, a purpose. And I will gladly die for both. Thank you. He's lucky to have you. Tell me about the camp dog. Lord Freyr. Hey. Yeah, I'm glad it worked. Uh, whatever you helped to do out there. I'm still not sure I totally get you, or what your deal is, but... As long as you have her back, I'll have yours. She's pure of heart. Believes in your goodness, even if you don't. Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Veer, my love. Focus on your work. You need to weave those tighter. Your alliance is unusual. I, I think what Kratos is trying to say is... ...he's never seen a Light Elf and Dark Elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim... Contested territory. Past the Barrens. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alfheim. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the Elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alfheim before the division of light and dark. It's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. We... She is how you ended up in prison. Where she and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends. More than friends. You can stop talking. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck out there. If I may ask. Do you miss Alfheim? You mean, do I miss the life? Do you? The truth? I still feel it's pulled. You want nothing else when you're near it. And away from it, you're only biding time until you can drink again from the light. But then again, the light does not make good food. It doesn't play music or tell jokes or open your eyes to new things. It makes you run in place. The more I am away from it, the more I see it for what it really is. And I don't need it anymore. Hmm. I appreciate your candor. Is someone going to ask me if I miss the light? Of course. 
How rude of me. In their defense, love. You are usually not the most... talkative. I hope we have a chance to talk further, Mimir. Always nice to meet a fellow scholar. And Kratos, I understand your homeland is famed for philosophers. When things quiet down, I'd love to hear their ideas. And your own. I have nothing to say that will interest you. Nonsense, brother. I've heard many a wise word pass those sunburned lips. <laughs> it's all right, Mimir. My wife is much the same way. Careful. Uh, quiet, but very deep. Acceptable. Woo! <laughs> she loves me so much. <laughs> An old Vanaheim lullaby. Done exploring, Kratos. Lunda, would you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Big Fair and Bayla? Well, they were both in prison by one side or another. Or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being in love's always a risk. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> you can say the same about hot cheese. Still owe me the story of who made these things. And Lady Freya? Big man? Linda, how do you know of Birga the Traveler? Not much. I oh, ain't the talking type, really. But from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Traveler for a time. Then found out something that made him step off it. Hard. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Yet I hope this alliance has some staying power after all. It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. <laughs> 